Hi guys, what's up? Welcome and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to compare and state the difference between two foundation. The first one is Maybelline Fit Me and the next one is Nykaa Skin Genius Foundation. I am going to differentiate these foundations on the basis of price, shade ranges or color ranges, ingredients, coverage, consistency, how long wearing this are, the overall finish and performance and all of that so if you are interested keep on watching but before that if you haven't yet subscribed my channel it will mean a lot if you become a part of my journey by subscribing and pressing the bell icon just next to the subscribe button so yeah now without further delay let's get into the video the first foundation is Maybelline fit me and I have here with me the smaller size which is 1818 ml and this retails for rupees 299 and the original size is 30 ml that retails for rupees 575 whereas this Nykaa Skin Genius one this comes in only one size which is 30 ml and this also retails for rupees 575 this one the smaller one has six shades in it and the bigger size or the larger one has got 18 shades in it whereas this one has only five shades in it so shade range wise this is definitely the winner also one thing that i like about maybelline is that they are very good in educating their customers because if you log on to the website also even on nika's website and if you search this product you can see they have mentioned one chart i'll insert the chart in the chart you can see the skin tones and undertones they have categorized all the shade ranges in the skin tone and undertone category so that it's easier for customers to choose a shade online whereas nika they have mentioned that they have used this color adapting technology which means that if you end up buying or picking one or two shades lighter or darker than your original skin tone then this foundation will adapt to your skin tone which is also not bad so now let's talk about ingredient list I mean they have mentioned the ingredients in the website whereas Nika they don't mention the ingredients on the website which is something that I don't like so before buying this product you have no chance to see the ingredient list so for your benefit I am going to attach a screenshot or picture of both these ingredients this they have mentioned in the website so I'll insert that as well and this one they have mentioned in the outer packaging like here so I'll take a picture and I'll attach this doesn't contain any sort of talc and fragrance which I'm really happy about but this contains talc and uh, they have not mentioned the perfume or fragrance uh, in the ingredient list but when I open the bottle I could still smell this fragrance but I don't know they have not mentioned it in the ingredient list I get it not all are allergic to fragrance but my skin type is sensitive towards fragrance so I try to avoid fragrance in my skincare and my makeup products as well and I'm sure there are very few people like me who are allergic or sensitive towards fragrance not many are sensitive towards fragrance and if you are okay with using a product that contains fragrance good for you it's your choice but my duty was to just let you know and also after applying this i instantly got breakouts like small little bumps all over my face i tried applying this thrice and three times it gave me bad breakouts now let's talk about the consistency of these two products now the consistency of this one is slightly thicker than this one the consistency of this one is thinner Let's not talk about the coverage that this two provides. Now this has got very sheer coverage, low sheer coverage. This has got the coverage of a BB cream. So if you are looking for a daily wear low coverage or BB cream coverage kind of foundation, you can go for this. But if you are on tight budget and if you are still looking for a foundation that will give you medium coverage for your special days or special occasions, festivals or wedding ceremonies to attend then you can go for this one let's talk about how long wearing this are so if you have to step out of your house wearing the foundation this will stay on your face for like 
three hours like it will stay then it will fail, start to fade away so one i would say five hours is the maximum limit that it will stay on your skin my shade in maybelline fit me is 230 natural buff and my shade in nika skin genius foundation is 03 warm sand let's talk about the finish of the foundation which foundation is finish deta hai? yeah let's talk about that this one the name the full name of this foundation is nika skin genius sculpting and hydrating foundation so this is a hydrating foundation and the finish of this one is dewy and if you're looking for a foundation that is hydrating to your skin then you should go for this one good for dry and normal skin type if your skin type is oily even normal combination oily you can go for this one because the finish of this foundation is matte at least more mad than this but after four to five hours like my skin is oily so after four to five hours this will make your skin little more dewy around the areas which are little oily so you have to powder your face then that's all my today's video guys if you like this video give this video a big fat thumbs up subscribe press the bell icon comment down below share this video if you like this kind of uh, foundation comparison or battle of foundation comment down below which one you want to see next i'll try to make that video for you guys so yeah bye bye take care and see you soon